Senator Joe Manchin, a Democrat who's pretty conservative, is reeling from the fact that Vice President Kamala Harris decided to do local interviews in West Virginia to bolster Joe Biden's $1.9 trillion coronavirus relief package. Now, Manchin has been an obstacle to passing this type of legislation. He thinks that we need to be concerned about the deficit, which is absolutely ridiculous. And so I had suggested earlier that maybe we need people to go to West Virginia, where people are really struggling financially right now, to make the case for why this is a relief package that absolutely must pass. And so um, gotta give uh, Senator, uh, former Senator, now Vice President Kamala Harris a lot of credit for that. Um, because she did do an interview with uh, WSAZ and uh, she basically called out the uh, actual statistics of poverty in the state of West Virginia. In West Virginia, one in seven families is describing their household as being hungry, one in six can't pay their rent. One in four business, small businesses are closing permanently or have already closed. So it's a big issue in West Virginia and across the country. That's why the president and I are offering the American Rescue Plan. Now she shared more details on this in the interview, talking about why the American Rescue Plan is about opening schools back up in a safe way, something that's tremendously popular. It's about getting support for small businesses, getting relief for families. So many people have been unemployed employed for almost a year at this point. The president and I feel very strongly that these are the moments when we are facing a crisis of unbelievable proportion and that the American people deserve their leaders to step in and stand up for them. So mm, Senator Manchin, he no like that. Mm, he got very salty about that. He went on the same news outlet to complain and this is what he said, get a load of this. I saw the interview, I couldn't believe it. No one called me about it? We're going to try to find a bipartisan pathway forward, but we need to work together. That's not a way of working together. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did the vice president need to ask your permission to do an interview in your state where the vast majority of your own constituents want the relief? Is that what you're upset about? Oh, She didn't ask you permission? Is it because she called you out for being pathetic and standing in the way of getting Americans the relief that they need right now? I love that Senator Harris did this and they should do more of it. Yeah, um, so all of a sudden strength, I look, I love giving credit where credit is due. And it, it very rarely happens in democratic leadership. But out of the gate, we come out really nice on this one. So Kamala Harris didn't just do an interview on local West Virginia television. She also did one in Arizona. The two Democratic senators that are holding things up now are from West Virginia and Arizona. That's Kirsa Cinema. So that is very much intended as both, um, well, basically a warning shot to those two senators, a shot mm. across the bow. Uh, you mm. better watch yourself. Because if you mess around with us, you're gonna find out. And yes, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm borderline shocked by it, but very pleasantly shocked. So great, if that's how they're gonna use Kamala Harris to go get Democrats to, to fall in line for progressive policies, like more COVID relief, well played. There you go, give me more of that. Yeah, it's it's definitely yummy in my tummy. I'm mean, I'm enjoying every minute of it, and I want to see more of it. Absolutely. Um, now, uh, what was also interesting though is that uh, the governor of West Virginia, a Republican, uh, came out in support of robust economic relief. Let's hear a little from Governor Jim Justice again, the governor of the state of West Virginia, where Joe Manchin is a senator. Let's watch. At the end of the day, really and truly, Poppy, what we need to do is we need to we need to understand that trying to be per se fiscally responsible at this point in time with what we've got going on in this country, if we actually throw away some money right now, so what? We have really got to move and get people taken care of and get people back on balance. Your Democratic Senator Joe Manchin thinks these payments are not targeted enough. Have you talked to him about it? 
Well, I, you know, I, I have not talked directly to Joe about that and everything. I, I don't really, you know, I don't really know exactly what the thinking could possibly be there. I mean, we got people that are really hurting. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Here's a perfect example, Poppy. My, the, my executive assistant came in the other day and said, not far from my home, there was an elderly man that froze to death in his house and everything. Probably couldn't afford to pay the power bill. You know, I mean, there is so many different things where people are really, really hurting. Okay. And, it, and today, we've got to move. We wow. can't hold back. We've got to move. He's right, uh, more than two thirds of West Virginians are in support of $2,000 direct checks to Americans uh, during this pandemic. And uh, just to show you how uh, well, I guess, Organized and coordinated, uh, the Biden administration seems to be on this issue. Uh, you have his press secretary, Jen Psaki, signal boosting what the governor just said in that video. And Jen, let's just watch this quick clip uh, and then we'll discuss. Would you consider a bill bipartisan if it doesn't have any support, Republican support in Congress, but it has uh, you know support among Republican voters? Well, I think you touched on an interesting point, which is that 74% of the public, according to recent polls, supports this package and the key components of this package. So the Democrats and Republicans, we just saw the Republican governor of West Virginia come out earlier today and advocate for a big package. Lo yeah. mm, yummy in my tummy, Jank. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I love it. Yeah. More of this. Yes, uh, that's exactly right. So look, uh, let me be clear though about the politics that's being played and, and the one uh, enormously important factor they're not talking about. So Jim Justice, the governor of West Virginia is generally full of crap. He was pretending to be a Democrat and then when Trump was really popular uh, in West Virginia, he switched over and became a Republican, but his policies didn't change at all. He's always been uh, totally in favor of the rich. He himself is incredibly wealthy. So uh, why is Jim Justice doing this now? Because he's on the right side on this one. Um, because he could read a poll and he might run against Manchin one day. So he's like, well, okay, I'll out populist you. Uh, and so I'll go to the position that the overwhelming majority of the voters agree with. So wait a minute, why is Joe Manchin doing what he's doing? Because for so long, the rest of the Democratic Party and the media played along with this fiction that senators like Joe Manchin were being moderate because West Virginia is moderate and his voters wanted him to do those things. But in this case, as in almost all cases, we have polling that shows without any doubt at all that his voters do not want him to have fight for reduced relief and help the Republicans cut their checks down to about one third, okay? They don't want it. They don't want the Republicans in West Virginia don't want it, and the Democratic voters in West Virginia don't want it. None of them want it. So why is Manchin doing it? They never tell you, because his donors want him to cut the checks. Because as they think I'm rich, it's gonna come out of my pocket. I don't want the people of West Virginia to get it. Hey, boy, Joe Manchin, go get him, boy. You know, you go do as you're told and tell him that the people of West Virginia want it. That'll be a funny joke, Joe, don't you think? And normally Jim Justice plays along with that. And normally the media plays along with that. But now Jim Justice is like, oh yeah, why don't I snake you? And then I'll run against you and I'll go to the popular position. Do I really mean it? Not really, I'm a governor and I really can't affect it. It's a federal issue. And when, when I get to be a senator, I'll screw people over too in favor of myself and my donors. But that's how this game is played. But for God's sake, people in the media, the donors, that's who we're negotiating with. We're not negotiating with the Republican voters in West Virginia. They agree with us almost 100%. So stop helping Joe Manchin cover up what his real intentions are. But all in all, great work by the Biden administration. We got to see how they finish it because that's, that's the most important thing. But for now, strongly played and I'm very much in favor of it. Agreed. Uh, we're going to take a break, uh, but when we come back, we'll switch gears a little bit. Um, by the way, one quick note: I, I, I would 
regret not mentioning this. There is a website that you should check out. It's called Joe Manchin is blocking your stimulus check.com. Again, it's Joe Manchin is blocking your stimulus check.com. And there are some actionable items there that you can check out. So please take a look at it and see if you want to get involved in applying more pressure on Senator Manchin to ensure that we get robust relief to Americans as soon as possible. So I sure. love that website because it's so simple. It, and you'll see, you just click a couple of buttons and it makes a giant difference. The second reason I love it is I found out today, it's my former co-founders of the Just Democrats who set that up. So if you get to the donate button, do that too. It's their new pack is called noexcusespack.com. Can't get enough of it, okay? We'll have both links down below. If you're watching this later on YouTube and Facebook, it's so easy to click on it. It's in the description box. So they're coming from Manchin immediately out of the gate. This is how strong progressives roll. So now, oh my God, you got the Biden administration working with the most progressive people in the country to go after you know, conservative corporate Democrats like Manchin. That is a development I, I, I didn't even expect. And that's a great development. Let's go make it happen. Let's make Manchin bow down to the will of the people because that's what he's supposed to do in a democracy, not serve as donors. No excuses. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.